about to hear a romantic drama, A Prince Arrives, adapted from a story in Streeton Smith's Love Story magazine and featuring the love story girl in the role of Nina Willows. And now we tell you the story of Nina Willows, the girl who was beautiful all but her face. And yet that face turned out to be her fortune. Sounds contradictory, you say? Well, it is. The explanation lies, perhaps, in the fact that there was nothing wrong with Nina's features. They could have given Venus de Milo a run for her money any day in the week. And her eyes were lovely. It was Nina's complexion that was, shall we say, unfortunate. As a matter of fact, Nina's complexion was doubly unfortunate, for she worked in a beauty parlor. And although she gave the best facials and finger waves in the shop, Nina was always in deadly fear of losing her job on account of that wretched complexion. Her particular dread was the rich and pampered Agatha Shields, the shop's best customer. You see, Agatha was given to speaking her mind, something like this. But I want Betty to give me my facial. I'm sorry, Miss Shields, but Betty's booked up for the entire afternoon. I told you that on the phone when you called this morning. I know, but my goodness, Nina, can't you cancel one of those appointments? I'm sorry, Miss Shields, I'm afraid not. I could give you your facial if you like. You? Give me a facial? I'm really just as good as Betty. Mr. Burns will tell you so in fact. Heavens no. If your face is an example of what your treatments are like, no thanks. Oh. I want Betty. There's nothing wrong with her skin. I'm sorry, but Betty can't take you, honestly. But my skin has nothing to do with my treatments, Miss Shields. The doctor says it, it's a grand condition. Only, only a long, expensive series of X-ray treatments can help it. I'm saving up I'm now. I'm sorry, so Nina. I... I really haven't time to listen to your troubles. If I can't have Betty, I have other things to do. Goodbye. I really don't understand why Mr. Burns hires anyone with such a wretched skin. Oh, dear. If, if only she wouldn't talk so loud. She said he'd have to fire me if she complained again. It, it isn't as if my face were really so terrible. If I'm fired, I'll never earn the money for those x-ray treatments. If I only had a skin as lovely as Betty's or Sylvia's, <laughs> I guess I might just as well wish for a fairy story prince to ride up with a magic potion, I suppose. Nina! Oh, Nina! Oh, yes, I'm in here. Nina, Mr. Burns wants to see you in his private office. Oh, dear, then he did hear us. Mr. Burns, I've tried to explain it. Oh, Nina, oh. this is Mr. Marshall, Kent Marshall. This is Nina Willows. Yes, how do you do? I, uh, how do you do? I think Nina is just what you're looking for, Kent. She's thoroughly experienced in mixing and handling all the preparations we use here. A natural chemist, as you might say. And her, uh, her skin condition makes her an ideal subject for experimentation. Hmm, yes. Yes, I deal. It's not my fault. I, I've done everything I could, except the x-ray treatments, and I'm putting aside $5 each week for those. Uh, save your money, Miss Willows. I doubt if even the x-ray can do anything for you. You'll just step over here to the light a minute. Where did I put my magnifying glass? Yes, but I, I don't understand. Just a that... minute now. Yes, perfect, perfect. Burns, you realize the thousands of women in this country alone whose lives are ruined by skin like this. If I can find a remedy, a cure... Oh, Mr. Marshall, you'll be a hero, a saint. They'll worship you. Oh, you hear that, Burns? It's a matter of vital importance. Oh, it me. is. It is, Mr. Marshall. Ken Marshall is a bug on the subject of skin conditions, Nina. Oh. That's why he wants you to be his laboratory assistant. Yes, the, uh, the pay won't be anything to brag about. 
At least not until I've completed my experiment. If it works, I'll be rich, and you'll come in for a very handsome bonus, I promise you. You see, what Mr. Marshall really wants is a combination laboratory helper and guinea pig. Someone who would be willing to let me use her face to try to find a cure. Would you be willing to take that risk? Oh, yes, if there were any chance, the slightest chance at all, that you could help my complexion. Well, I'd go through fire and flood to help you. Oh, but oh, I almost forgot my, my job here. I wouldn't want to leave Mr. Burns in a lurch. Oh, well, that's all right, Nina. After that scene Miss Shields put on again this afternoon, I'm afraid I'll have to let you go. Uh, you understand? Oh, yes, I, I don't blame you. Well, Mr. Kent Marshall, it looks like you found your guinea pig. There we are. Uh, watch the flame under that retort, Nina. I don't want an explosion that would blow us both sky high. I'm watching it. Yes, yes, of course. I, I know you are. It's just that I'm getting so jumpy now that it's time to really try to try my new solution. Yes, I know. Uh, you've been a great help to me, Nina, this last month. I really don't know what I'd have done without you. Nina, gosh almighty, watch that flame. Oh, for goodness sake, stop fidgeting. I've got both eyes on the flame. The solution is nearly the right temperature. Mm. I should have warned you that some of the stuff you'd have to handle would be... Highly explosive. Oh, that wouldn't have stopped me. I'd be willing to be burned alive if, if it would help my face. It's a nice face, Nina. I like it. Oh, you're just used to it. Oh, well, that's not why I like it. Nina, if this experiment works, I... Oh. Well, time for that later on. Yeah, now, I think the solution's reached the right temperature. You can uh, turn off the flame. Right. There it is. Now then, pour it out in this bowl. You can't let it get too cool or it won't work. Mm-hmm. Well, there. Well, we're ready, Nina. We're ready to try it. You're... You're not frightened. Not with you, Kent. Nina, I... Oh, well, there's no time for that. Come on. First, I'll wipe off your face with this antiseptic solution. So... Mm -hmm. Don't want to run any chance of dirt or oil spoiling our experiment. There we are. That's the ticket. <laughs> I probably shine like a new kettle. You do, particularly the nose. Oh, Ken. Steady now. Here goes. Keep your fingers crossed. Are you ready? Yes. I'll spread it on. Oh. Too hot? Uh, no, I can stand it. The hotter the better, you know. Yes. There you are. Well, cover it up like a mummy. Now then, come on over under this light. Mm -hmm. I'll have to watch this, see if there's any chemical action. Where the heck is my magnifying glass? In the... Quiet, oh. quiet, quiet. I'll stretch the mask. Mm -hmm. Ah, yes, yes, here we are. Now then, still. Very still. Mm -hmm. No, no. Well, I, I don't see anything may take more time. Mm. Nothing yet. The whole thing's absolutely dormant. No, it's not dormant. It's dead. Oh, Kent. Something's gone wrong, Nina. Our experiment's a failure. Oh, no, it can't be. Try again, Kent. Maybe it's the temperature. You said yourself the hotter the solution was, the better. Maybe we'll let it cool off but too Nina, much. you can't stand it any hotter. Oh, yes, I can. Lots. Now, wait, I'll wash this mess off and we'll start again. You light the burner and heat a new batch of the solution. Right. There. Uh, we're all ready for a fresh start. It's the temperature, Kent. I know it is. We, we couldn't be so far off in our calculations. You're a brick, Nina. I'm crazy about you. <laughs> Even with a shiny face. Anyway, every way, Nina. I... Oh. Nina, I, I didn't mean to kiss you. Uh. I didn't mind. Nina. Well, Kent, really. When I suggested you get Miss Willow to work on, I didn't mean in just that way. Agatha, I didn't expect you down here. <laughs> That's fairly obvious. Phew, 
Does it always smell as bad as this? Well, it's the sulfur, Miss Shields. You'll get used to it. You may. I wouldn't. But then I guess I'm unusually sensitive about things of that sort. The, the solution is ready, Mr. Marshall. We'll let it get a little hotter. But isn't that dangerous? We've got to take a chance. Agatha, you'd better get out of here. We may have an explosion. And leave you alone with your little lady friend? No, darling. You need a chaperone. Now, that's hot enough, Nina. Pour some out. Right. Oh, so you call her Nina. Don't be a fool, Agatha. Can you stand it as hot as this, Nina? Yes, yes, of course. It's going to be rather painful. I, I don't mind. Oh, I'm not blaming Nina, as you call her. I suppose every good-looking man is bound to have his lighter moments. But I do think, out of fairness to her, you might have told her about our engagement. Engagement? Of course. We're engaged to be married. Oh. You don't deny you gave me this ring, do you, Ken? I know, but good grief, Agatha. I wrote you two weeks ago, breaking it off. Oh. Nina, listen to me. Let me go. I want to get out of here. Nina, Nina, don't leave me, Nina. I can explain this. Let her go, Ken. You don't really want a wife with a complexion like that. The heck with her complexion. I love her, Agatha. Don't you know what that oh, means? Oh, my dear Ken, don't be so melodramatic. I'm not melodramatic. I love her and I want to marry her. Ah! Oh, what was that? What happened? It exploded. That glass thing blew up. It set everything on fire. Where's Ken? Over there, unconscious, on the other side of the flame. Help me get him out. No, no, we can't reach him. Come we'll here. all be burned up if we I try. I don't care. You're going to help no, me get No, no. Let go of me. I'm getting out of here. I'm getting out. It's all right, Ken. I'm coming. squeak for both of you. Kent. Kent, he's in there. I've got to, I've got to get him. There, there, there. It's all right, darling. You saved me. Everything's fine. Oh. Oh, Kent. You sure you're all right? And you, you do love me, Nina? Oh, of course. But you don't want a wife that looks like... I'd want you, darling, no matter if you look like a Fiji Islander. But you don't. And, darling, the solution worked. What? It was the heat of the flames that turned the trick. In another week, you'll have a skin like a baby. Oh, Kent, that's wonderful. Think what that's going to mean to thousands and thousands of women. Think what it's going to mean to us. It means I'll be rich. We can afford to get married. To Agatha? No, no, not on your life. Matrimony is another experiment I've no idea of going in for without you. You have been listening to a romantic drama featuring the Love Story Girl and presented with the permission of Street and Smith, publishers of Love Story magazine. Thank you.